Lisa. We need something today. I want to find Rachel as much as you do. You went all yesterday afternoon to look. I'm choosing my moment. Fine, well, you know what? If Sam's heart gets broken again by that stupid cow, you do know he's going to go under. I know you care about Sam. You don't have to keep telling me. So just go in there and grab Nicola's address, but you'll be in out at seconds. There's always people in that office. I can't just go barging in there, rummaging through Nicola's desk. Fine, create a diversion. Throw someone in the boiling vat. I don't care. Nice. seriously, you are Sam's last chance. No, leave it with me. If we don't win the film prize tomorrow, we should kick on. It's a no-brainer. Sean's done a brilliant job. The best. You two said it was going to be pants. You were right, we were wrong. That's the first for you, eh, Sean? Uh, shouldn't you be at the bus stop by now? We're having a breakfast meeting about our next film. I've got loads of ideas. Well, so have I. We should set up our own company, be proper independent filmmakers like the ones who did that zombie movie. Well, this sounds like a two-coffee job, eh? Uh, same again? I mean, yeah, I've got time. Yes, yes please. please. So, two of them fighting over you now? Nah. Mm. Just wait till I tell your mother. You have to be prepared for, for anything. You know, the minute Rachel sees you, she's going to run. Then I'll run faster. But then what? You gonna tear Archie away with your bare hands? If I have to. It's not like she can go to the police to complain. She might have people with her. People you wouldn't want to cross. And she might not. Now, unless you've got a better plan to get my son back, why don't you try being positive for once? You got five minutes? No. It's urgent and it's personal. Dad, make us a coffee, will you? What's up, then? Broken a fingernail. I'm worried about Priya. Who isn't? No, I, um... I think that she's got a real problem. Yeah, he's about five foot nine, 12 stone. Goes by the name of David. No. A problem that she's had before. Now, I have tried to help her, but she won't let me. And I cannot make her eat. But she needs to. Otherwise, I'm worried that she's going to harm the baby. I just need a couple of hours to myself. That's all I'm prepared to say at this stage. Remember what you promised yourself. Ah, care to share, Belise? I promised myself that after what happened, that for now, that's it for me and men. Mm. I did the same years ago. Never looked back. <laughs> mm. yeah, and this is all down to your experience with this, uh, Anton. Put it this way, Dad, um, he wasn't husband material. Well, I just started thinking, no man to cook for or sleep with. What am I going to do with all those extra hours? Learn the ukulele, take up baking. No, Jimmy. I'm going to take up life. Keep everything cross for me. If she ends up in that lap dancing club of Layla's. I thought she was showing the signs. Like the last time. But I asked her, you know, she promised me that there was nothing. She lied. And how do you know? Oh, how do you think? She lies about food. She hides it, or, or she plays with it, or she throws it away, or she throws it up. You know, she had a scan yesterday. And the midwife said that the baby is in the lowest percentile. If it was too small, they'd call her in. Jay, I'm not lying to you, all right? You need to talk to her, you need to make a C-sense, cos I have tried. A counsellor's tried. She didn't want to know. I knew it. But then I thought, well, she's having the baby. She couldn't. She won't be that stupid again. Um, I'm sorry yeah, to Not now, me. Lisa. Well, it's the machine in the ladies. It's stuck again. Talk to Nicola about it. I don't care. Hey, Jay, not yet. Just... Oh. You know what? Gemma has not been near Kevin Bacon for days. I think the initial enthusiasm might be wearing off. Well... I did tell her she might have to start wearing his waste products, just to tailor his diet. She thinks she might have to start measuring pig poo. I'm a vet. Why wouldn't she believe every word I say? <laughs> <laughs> An evil genius vet! <laughs> oh, very soon, my friend, that little porky person's gonna be ours. <laughs> Those pigs have got to go. 
squealing all the way through my small animal surgery as if someone was cutting at their throats. We can but dream. Oh, and that's straight from the vet's mouth. A vet who has had it up to here with all things poor sign. A vet whose husband cannot open his mouth without uttering the P word. All right, we're changing the diet. Yes, more vegetable matter, less the other stuff. Might calm down a bit. But well, you know what? Whatever you do, don't shout at them because Pjork's very sensitive and John Ham's easily upset. Oh, 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 oh. you're not going anywhere. We've come in here for some lunch. And you'll get some as soon as they've been fed. By the time you've ordered, we'll be right back. Oh, I can order now. I have an uncontrollable urge for sausage and mash, or black pudding, or maybe pork tenderloin with apple. I'm sorry. Pork's off. Excuse me. Thank you very much for calling. Um, I'm sorry he's not here at the moment, but if you'd like to uh, call back again later. Thank you. Bye. Another run? Oh, don't start, Jay. I've got my phone. And a healthy mum means a healthy baby, right? That's what the midwife told me, yeah. And what does she say about the mum who's starving her baby to death? me in the eye. You promised me nothing was wrong. And there isn't. Why would I do anything that could hurt my baby? You lied to me last time. Over and over. Oh, do you know what? Layla is such a drama queen, right? She exaggerates everything. She lies all the time. Just ask David. So she lied to me when she told me she got you a counsellor, did she? When she told me that she's going out of her mind with worry oh, about you. I yeah? only agreed to that to shut her up so she wouldn't start spreading vicious rumours about me. Right? Just because I am having a baby and she gave hers away, right? It's her that's got the problem, not me. Look at yourself, Priya. You don't eat. When you're not at work, you're pounding the pavement. Well, I swear on my baby's life there is no, nothing no, no, wrong no, no. with me. You swear on anything but that. But there's nothing wrong with me, it's true. Layla told me that the baby's small. It doesn't get much more wrong than that. Right, well, you don't know what you're talking about, cos my baby is fine, the doctor said so. So excuse me, but I've got a 5K run. No, 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 no. You are going nowhere until you admit to me what's going on. There's nothing going on. Nothing. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear it. So you just proved that to me, and we can both be on our way, all right? Jay upped and left, the phone was ringing, and I answered it. And some people should be doing the job they're paid to do, not someone else's. Well, there's gratitude for you. Some people have no manners. And you know, shop floor aren't allowed in the office on their own. There's sensitive information in here. What, like, how much sugar we put in the caramel? That call could have been a big new order. <laughs> right? Well, that's the last time I try and make myself useful. Good. Cos there's a reason you're on the shop floor, Lisa. I suggest you stay there. You're being ridiculous. No, I'll give you a chance. And all you do is lie to me. You're bullying me, Jay, a pregnant woman. So eat this. Go on. Show me. Prove to me that there is nothing wrong. Last. You admit it. No, there is nothing to admit because there is nothing that I can't handle. Think you'll be able to live with yourself if you damage that little girl inside you? I mean, th that's even if you end up with a baby at all. Stop it. I love my boy, but I can't have him. And I can't think of a single time that I would choose to harm him. I can't help myself, right? I am not doing this on purpose. Well, you should have done this the easy way. 
You should have gone through with that abortion instead of stringing this out over nine torturous Stop months. It! You know what? You have a choice. And for whatever warped reason, you choose to try and kill your baby and yourself. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh, I hate this! I hate myself! I can't do this anymore! Oh. Left. It was on his desk for tomorrow. Is that it? No number? But you asked me to get what I could, and I got what I could. I'm taking the afternoon off. I'm coming with you. No way, Lise. You leave it to me. Well, I could do with a word with that, Rachel. In fact, more than a word. I could give her a good idea. No, that is a bad, bad idea, OK? Because if Sam finds out, he'll think that you've turned against him, won't he? And if Jay walks in on you, you'll lose your job. And he'll just become one big, fat mess. Mm, as if it wasn't already. Lise, it is better for all of us if you just leave this to me, yeah? Will you tell that Rachel from me that she is not fit to clean our Sam's boots? She never has been. Can I get you a drink, Lisa? Uh, I, I shouldn't be here anyway. So, what have we got? Not much, just that he's meeting someone at 2pm Hotton Park Estate tomorrow. Never heard of it. What is it, a hotel? The only part of this neck of the woods where the police go in in pairs. Seeing as though Jay's probably not scoring drugs or knock off electricals, it's got to be her, hasn't it? So what do we do? Knock on doors? Yeah, and then go in with a loud hailer and a bulletproof vest, I think. We don't want to scare her off, do we? OK, so we keep our heads down. We ask around. We watch and we wait. She will surface soon enough, and when she does, we have got to be ready to pounce, all right? Or we may as well throw ourselves off a cliff because it'll be game over. And I don't know about you, but I'm really not keen on prison food. This sudden attraction to pigs, you know, is starting to look weird. Could be worse. Could be motorbikes, sports cars, glamour photography. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All of a sudden, there's five of us in this relationship, which wouldn't be so bad if three of them weren't pigs. Well, then do something about it. But what can she do about it? Something like... This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. <laughs> this little piggy had a roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. If you really love this baby as much as you say you do, you'll at least manage a sandwich. You know it's not that easy. Right. Well, what about this? <laughs> <laughs> what about this? Bacon butty? <laughs> no, that's way too fattening. How about some hummus? Eh? That's nice and healthy. <laughs> or a nice, fresh <laughs> tomato. Freya, you are not leaving this room until you get something down you. You either eat or you kill your baby. I hate you! And I love you too much to sit back and watch you starve. <laughs> You've only got four months to go and then we can get you sorted. But in the meantime, you have to eat! I can't! Jay! <laughs> Hello? Please don't tell him, Jay, please. After. have to. Oh, the lad shall give my heart to that cake. Don't do it. We'll work it out like we did last night, please. Jay? The girl said you'd gone missing. I left my phone, that's all. <laughs> Priya? Sweetheart? What on earth is wrong with her? Hormonal. You know, baby stuff. That's all. Nothing much. We need to celebrate properly when we win. There's that party on in town. What, on Friday? It's over 18 only. Sean, are you up for it? Um, sounds good to me. We're meant to be talking about our new project. We could always take the camera to the party. Or we could do one on pigs. Oh, loads of shots of Gemma and Wellie scratching Kevin Bacon's nose. No way. I'm liking it. <laughs> From pig pen to plate, we can shoot loads in the abattoir. Come on, look for that, Gemma. There is no way that I am starring in some film with a pig. I was wondering when you'd lose interest. Just like you seem to have lost interest in school. We're on a lunch meeting just talking about our new film. Why don't you ask um, Bell round to us on Friday night? You can brainstorm then. That's if you have a brain to storm with, eh, Sean? I'm saying it hers, aren't I? Yeah, I ask mum and everything. School work on a Friday. That'll be a first. Then I'd best ask Lisa then. Apparently, there's a really uh, sick party going on in town. Oh, is there? 
And you must be the only kids for miles who don't know about it. So you can forget about Friday night. You're on uh, lockdown. You're supposed to be my friend. Why the hell would you do that to me? I tried to organise a counsellor, but you weren't interested, were you? I mean, what else was I supposed to do? Yeah, well, Jay has just practically called me a murderer. I'm sure he didn't mean that. He's just worried about you. You know, we both are. Oh, no, he meant every single word. Do you know what? I deserve everything he threw at me. <sighs> He's right, Layla, and so are you. God, you must think I'm insane. No, I just think that you can't help yourself. There is so much at stake and I've risked it all, and for what? <sighs> Got to get better. For my baby's sake. <sighs> I haven't got a choice. There's no need to be so secretive. It's not as if we're going to judge her on what she does, is it? One word, Anton. Yeah. Ah, now Benice isn't here, you can tell me. What was it with him? Well... All you need to know is never cross your daughters. Ah, uh, how did it go? Managed to get yourself a life, did you? Almost. Barry was very helpful. Told you there'd be a man involved somewhere. Barry from the bank. The bank? Clothes bank, food bank. Money bank. Their small business manager squeezed me in first thing this morning. I think they call it vertically challenged these days. Small business manager, not small business manager. To discuss my loan. Well, you can't possibly have thought he'd lend you enough to buy this place. And even if he did, Diane would never countenance the sale. Dad, don't be silly. Then what do you want to borrow money for? Well, funny enough, that's the first thing Barry asked. Mm. He's got twins and an ex-wife in Colchester and a third-hand Porsche. And he lent you the cash? Well, no, he said he might do. But he expected to see a business plan before he agreed to anything. Right. So, um... <sighs> You went to get a business loan without an actual business in mind? Yes. I mean, he offered to help me draw one up. He got a bit irritated when I said I didn't have a clue what business I wanted. Yeah, we, uh, we need to come up with some ideas. Hmm. That a woman with advanced skills in spending other people's money and pulling pints could set up. I may not have a business plan, but I do have a life plan. And I am sick of waiting for some bloke to provide for my future. From now on, depend on me. Mm. And my name's Beyonce. Every night I go to bed and I go through what I've eaten. Every day I think it's too much. Yeah, but you know, it's nowhere near enough. I can't even look at myself in the mirror. But all I see is this bloated blubber where my waist used to be. Priya, that's your baby. All right, there's nothing to you. You're just skin and bones. I hate myself so much. Come on, let's just take this one step at a time, OK? There's some tomato soup. That's what my mum used to make me when I was poorly. I can't. Yes, you can. Stop thinking about you and start thinking about that baby and what she needs, OK? Come on. Gonna do it together. She so much as spots us, it's over. She won't. Not exactly inconspicuous, is she? Skank with kid in pushchair. I think we'll spot her before she spots us. Yeah, well, that's if we spot her at all. She's on the run. She'll be keeping her head down. Yeah, and she's also got a little kid in tow, so she'll have to crawl out of a cave for something at some point, won't she? I don't know, milk, nappies, baby wipes. It's bound to be a convenience store somewhere 24-7, so we just park our backsides outside there and then we will just wait. That's if we have a full set of wheels to come back to. And if we do find her... When we find her... Then we do what we have to do. Whatever that might be. There's too much at stake. It's gonna be a long night. Come on. So Tiffany stuffs a bra full of tights, gets on stage, flips upside down and they all fall out? Oh, I won't need tips for her that night. <laughs> I don't know how you did that job. Yeah, well, the money helped and the girls were laughing. Don't go anywhere. We've had a chat. 
and she's eating a little bit, but don't make a big deal out of it, all right? Great. I'm really sorry. Went too far. Yeah, there was nothing I didn't need to hear. You're right. I can't keep doing this, I won't keep doing it. Look, any help you need, we'll get it, I promise. You know, as soon as I've got Archie back home, I'll have more time. We'll beat this. Like we did before. I promise we will. But this has got to be our secret, right? The three of us. As long as you keep this up. As long as you're trying. I think she's doing really well. I promise, OK? I'm going to do whatever it takes. Anything for my baby. Tonight at nine, we're off to LA with the big reunion 2014, along with the three T-boys, finding out what life was like back in the day in their rather famous uncle's shadow and what they've been up to for the last few years. Be here. Next, it's Corrie.